Yes, lend me your ears. Long as our Fevremon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades had passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for long. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal I fealty. No Your Majesty, of how long I have waited this moment. sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the sovereign let us be united in the hope that our liege's reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Aha, I thought I recognized you. Like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards.
get a move on. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert you. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even you ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Naught I can do but wait for death to claim me. I do not understand how tis they compel us. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. is quite cluttered. Pray leap over all that poses a hindrance. I can ill afford to linger here. A job well done. Now the next step is to Is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate.
Are you unharmed? survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Distance arisen. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the arisen, then our paths will surely 
cross again. Oi, are you all right? What's happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly not like that here in Burma. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? No, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Burma being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. If you find your strength lacking, buy the curative or have a bit of green one. When one of the fiends comes to you, best guard and dodge, or else you'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the stone. Give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking a have you beheld the dragon as yet? I've not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that it is a beast e'er more fearsome than a griffin. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Welcome, Arisen. 
We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a Riftstone. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Horns are known as Crosses of the Rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey, Arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn, and aught I learn beyond the Rift will be at your disposal. Well, I'll be... A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say. Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask aught you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Tis the name given to fates chosen, those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Very well. May fortune speed you on.
A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Going out, are you? You sure that's a good idea? You seem rather unwell. You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. Let the captain's ladder look sturdy enough to climb. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenceless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vote. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. We must rest, though the sun is still up. A moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. There's no discipline that steadfast devotion cannot teach. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me any time. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently.
us work together to honour the Arisen's trust. Hail, you a soldier? To be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. And Accardo's as well, I'm sure. We ought not to dawdle when our aid is sorely needed. You can weather a harpy assault unaided. Shall we hasten to Sir Ricardo's rescue? Follow me, Master, a few words. I'll bring you to the one you seek. We've got goblins! We need not shrink from danger. We've the strength to prevail over anything. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. The griffin has been drenched.
enemy today. Let us defer to the Arisen's judgment. It is as you say. If you can weather a harpy assault unaided, shall we hasten to Sir Ricardo's rescue? Fret not, Master. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Trounced our foe well and true. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. Of my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I, I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. Back now. Here, if you please.
We're here. Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. Twas a bit too early for him to be seen actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. With any luck, the instructors in the training ground here will have a cardo bat already here long. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings, and if you'd like to change your voc. Oh, Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Are loathsome to handle. Our attacks shan't reach them easily. Very well, if I must. It was most effective. I'll gather this. It might be of use. On another note, ought we not add an archer to our ranks? There are other choices if we seek an ally who can attack at range. My talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my possession to craft things for you in my spare time. found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Perhaps this will 
seem of little consequence. Thank you. I am in your debt. So this is Melv. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. Let me know what you need. Might have just the thing. Pleasure doing business. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough to scratch the... Unfortunate, but it doth not release thee from thy fate.
this moment forth. Thou art arisen. Charge and do. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. After all, tis only by your courage that I live today. Had you not leapt between me and that dragon, I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds. And I could not hear your heart beating. It was a miracle that you... Arisen? I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. I am of the Border Watch. Someone with Arisen-like abilities came to this village, horn in tow. No you all to this. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Arisen. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. What say we gather some information? Say, do you think this one's really a risen? Have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh, no. I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I had tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. I made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? What? You'd do that? You'd get the medicine for me? I suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure. Oh, sir. I'd be most grateful. Seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And... We could make the fruit robberant ourselves, or simply purchase some at Runa's Apothecary, here in Mel. Ah, well met. Here for some...
fruit roverant, are we? Always a pleasure. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you arisen. one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vacation. Well now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. It is a vacation for those who seek to master the mystical arts. Magic. Mages can cast a wide array of offensive spells. However, the more powerful the spell, the longer one must spend in canting it. Thus, a mage is unlikely to last long on the field of battle without allies to protect them. Should you dedicate yourself to a vocation, you'll find that new paths to master will open up to you. Try them as you like. Tis a vocation for... Th I am a fighter myself. Naturally, tis a vocation. At close range, however, a bow is nary more use. Tis a vocation for those who... Thieves favor light. Their talents depend upon their finesse and ability to compensate for the length of their blade through sheer agility. Very well. There is no wrong. But I shan't take up any more... Thank you. Moments long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before you were still here at the inn. We also offer changes of vocation. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Always a pleasure. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. We may benefit from pursuing the information.
ought to have returned by now. Mayhap this time I went looking for it. That place puts my ears on it. Yet if all were to befall him, I couldn't live with him, sir. Hello again, sir. Say, have you brought some fruit robberant for me? Oh, well, if you do pick some up, you know where to find me. One can see far to the distance from here. Perhaps we might take a moment to savour the scene. Right you are. Might I be of assistance?
chest. I shall take a look inside. to have returned by now. Mayhap this time I went looking for him. Ah, well met. Here for some fruit, Roberant, are we? Always a pleasure. We ought to bring this to the one expecting it. Hello again, sir. Say, have you brought some fruit robberant for me? Oh, so this is what it looks like. Brilliant. Many thanks, sir. I haven't much to offer in return, but I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper like, I'll bet. One could not have hoped for a gladder outcome. to have returned by now. May have this time away looking. Hell, if you've a moment to spare, I'd like a word. As you can see, we're rebuilding. A task that can always benefit from another pair of hands. What say you? Would you be willing to help? Excellent. You're a good sort. I'll not soon forget this. Here's what I need from you. A bask of Saurians has made their nest outside the village. Though they're yet to cause any harm, their proximity makes the villagers uneasy. I'd like to enlist your aid in driving them away. I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. Use them to send the Saurians scattering. A Saurian nest so near the village Worry. Indeed. Let us see the explosive casks there, as quickly as we may. There's no great shock to me. Ah, you've returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. First and foremost, will you accompany me to my thanks? Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Very well. Spe Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? Our respective abilities are unique as well. We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none.
I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim goes to waste. Hold fast, Arisen! I will be with you in but a moment! Make haste, then. We must leave Anon. Very well. Speak. That appears to us to finish the job, but I'd have you drop a jar of poison into their nest. With any luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose a perilous spot, but pray, take care not to drop it in the river. The villagers use that ward. You must make sure your aim is true. Good. You'll find the jars of poison just outside the village. Toss one. Now we are to throw a jar of poison. Be sure to handle it with care, Master. to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's aught to be found while we're here? Time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? Well done, Master. Those Sauri and Chant dare approach the village for some time, thanks to your efforts. Such moments make me proud to serve the Arisen. Make haste, then. We must leave Anon. Very well. Speak with me once you've... You've done as I asked, I see. Many thanks for your... And I must say, you've a fine arm. I couldn't have done better myself. Watching you got me thinking. And mayhap you've the sense to inherit the skill. <laughs> or perhaps it is a little early for such talk. In any event, thanks to the work you've done for us today, the rebuilding efforts ought to proceed apace. And for that, I'm grateful. Have you found strength courses through? Outstanding. We have achieved our objective. You have my gratitude for the work you've done for me. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Very well. There is no... But I shan't take up any more of you. Make haste, then. We must leave Anon. Good. Then let us be on our way.
compares to the thrill of victory, one cannot help but feel indomitable. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm. items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Just in the nick of time. I thought I was done for. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not dealt with lightly. Best hope you're not one of them. Regardless, you would do well not to invite my mistrust on our journey. The Arisen has been put to sleep! Arisen! I will write! Talents are useless while it's pinned. Pray, make full use of this opportunity to fell it. Well worth the effort of breaking it. I 
don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? What is that? A tower? Nay, a, a statue? We ought to take a closer look. This is generally used as a material. Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. Tis uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I will make my report to the cap. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. If you see all untoward, pray inform me. Good. Let us make... Go and open the chest. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Or it may have befallen it. Best we press on.
Good. Let us make for the capital. Anyone got a story to share? I'll hear any tale, be it a boast or embarrassment. What well, say we get some rest? I'm not sure I can face a trek with my belly so full. Good sleep is the key to a good adventure.
Good morrow, everyone. Off we go then. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. I am confident. Where to next, Arisen? I shall inform you if I learn aught of worth. It is rather peaceful here, isn't it? Welcome to take whatever you... Is everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. I will protect you. Wait hard, be sure to avoid broken flames. That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. <laughs> I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! It might await us on the road ahead. written
Count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my speciality. Treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Let's see. What can we do without?
seem I misjudged you. I had taken you for another false arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this. As a Give it to one of the Sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. Tis your decision. <laughs> I'll gather this. It might be of use. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. We're setting out. Jump on if you're paid. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. you master but I'm worn out mightn't we have a rest before pressing on ah here's the cart now do you intend to join us very well board the ox cart and we'll be off There's a chest. I shall take a look inside. That ladder looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. <laughs> Goblins! What rotten luck! Need of your aid again, sir. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. 
will you join us the rest of the way? All right, into the ox cart then. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That Arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, may I by ought to explain the situation before we proceed? You, and no other, are the Sovereign. The only legitimate ruler of this king some days past you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave following that. She prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead. And however, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? <laughs>
Nor seem to miss at present. <laughs>